Fun things also about having the warmer weather is that my sinuses begin to go wee. <laughs> Guess what? We got pollen. <laughs> or we have something. And then I start itching. And itching. And itching. Uh, and sneezing. Wait for it. See? We're not professional here. <laughs> we just trust in the Lord. <laughs> uh, in starting your day, devotional, do your best. Like Keith Green used to say, do your best and pray that it's blessed and Jesus takes care of the rest. You know that he took care of the rest. You know we said. Anyways. But if anyone should sin, we have an advocate, one who will intercede for us with the Father. It is Jesus Christ. And he, that same Jesus himself, is the propitiation, the atoning sacrifice for our sins. And not for ours alone, but also for the sins of the whole world. 1 John 2, 1 through 2. If you are responsible to people, but God has not made you responsible for their joy. Okay, wait a minute. Let's try that one again. Intonation, putting it in the explanation. You are responsible to people, but God has not made you responsible for their joy. You may have children or siblings or a spouse God has given you to love and nurture who seem uninterested in your testimony. Some people just refuse to be happy. So don't let them steal your joy. You cannot fix anyone. You probably shouldn't try. And you shouldn't take the blame for everything that goes wrong in someone else's life. Obviously, you cannot make everybody happy. You cannot make everyone you know that believes in Jesus joyful. But you can get up every day and do your best and then trust God for the rest. I think sometimes people tend to want to be either emotional fixers or circumstance fixers. When we don't ask God first what is happening in someone's life, then we tend to interpose ourselves in their life and maybe get in God's way. But when you stop for a moment and you ask God to lead the way, then he brings into your life people, circumstances, and situations that God will give you the words to say if he wants you to say something. But nine times out of ten, if he hasn't told you something to say, shut up. <laughs> Let him lead and listen more than you speak. It's scriptural, after all, that Proverbs warns us that we ought to listen a whole lot more than we speak and that when we do take the time to listen to what a person says or just let the circumstances begin to play out God reveals his hand in the situation as we're observant watching for it when Jesus said to watch and be ready you know, to give to every man an answer for the hope that lies within you it wasn't just simply about salvation but it was about relationship in everyday life that we can address every circumstance that comes up because we have the Word of God in us and we have Jesus who lives and abides with us so we can ask him for the answer to anything that comes our way the answers are not oh you'll know in the sweet by and by that's a lie you won't know in the sweet by and by if you don't know now you won't know then I'm sorry you may appreciate it more in the heavenly realm but to put it bluntly God has already spoken he's already given us his word he's already declared what he's doing he's already shown that he's love he's already made us aware of grace he's already under he's already made us to understand forgiveness he has all the answers already prepared if we are just willing to find them live them allow them to be a part of our lives so that we can give grace to those who need it in the same way that grace was given to us. If we would just 
humble ourselves and pray and talk to God every day, then He will lead the way. And that's probably the best way to start your day.